Hey guys, if you haven't already, head over to www.lifestractioncontrol.com. Get yourself one of these cool new shirts. It's the Loft King shirt. Lack of freaking talent. So if you are like me and you have a little bit of loft in your game, head over there and check it out. Get yourself a discount code. Head over to patreon.com slash control. Sign up for the $5 tier. That'll get you a 20% discount, plus put you in the mug club every month. So head over there and we will see you guys soon. So the question of the day, is the crossover step important? I believe it is. The crossover step is actually one of the most important things when it comes to creating a straighter swing. It's almost impossible to create a straight swing if you don't have a crossover step. And because of the crossover step, it allows the ball to get into the slot or under your chin a whole lot easier. Because when you think about it, if we're just standing up tall and we swing the ball to our side, now we have to swing it off to the side and it's away from our head. What we want is we want the ball in line with our head, so we have to be over this way to get the ball to swing. And when we swing the ball going forward, as you can see in the illustrations, when we swing the ball going forward, if we don't step to the left, the ball can't hit by the side. The ball can't slide by the side. So when we push the ball away, if we step straight forward instead of crossing over, we have to push the ball to the right to get around our hip, to get around our butt. If we do that, we're causing the swing to go out behind our back, or even worse, it can create some crazy loop that you just don't want. That's really, really hard to, uh, to duplicate and to repeat each shot. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you work on that crossover step and get it to where that second step, if you're taking five steps, that second step needs to go out in front of your left foot. And if you're only taking four steps, that first step needs to go out in front of your left foot. So that way you can get the ball to fall down by your side and you can continue to move with a straight path from your shoulder and the ball through your head all the way to the foul line and you can release the ball directly under your chin rather than trying to create some crazy loop to get the ball back to where you want. So we know that key position at the foul line is in the good strong finishing position with the ball by the ankle and it's right directly under your head. So in order to get there, we need to make sure that the ball stays in line with our head throughout the entire approach, at least as much as possible.